All right, YouTube, this is me. Today we're gonna to do something very special, very different here on YouTube. I'm gonna make a fight video. Um, there's a lot of men who don't know how to do boxing or mixed martial arts. And when you're trying to physically, sexually attract women, whether they may be black women, white women, Mexican women, or Asian women, there's one thing that pickup artists and dating coaches um, do not do in their two and a half hour, three and a half hour, or sometimes four hour seminars. They do not talk about um, physical encounters. They don't talk about what if you're taking a woman out to lunch and dinner and somebody walk up on you with a knife or a gun and try to rob you at gunpoint. And you see what happens in society is that the guys that you see in the movies and the television shows, a lot of them get betrayed as punks, you know, weaklings, things of that nature. Um, you look at the uh, Incredible Hulk, right? A lot of people are making YouTube videos because um, Hollywood made the Hulk look like a punk. So now they're making you think that if you're bigger, stronger, faster, you're going to look like the Hulk. Or you're going to look like the mighty Thor when we all know that the real Thor uh, would never look fat and out of shape. We all know that the real Incredible Hulk would never look like that. Um, but pickup artists and dating coaches, they don't talk about your fight game. They always talk about you got to have game with the opposite sex, but you got to know how to fight too. And I'm a martial arts expert. 10, I said, well, say about in 10 to 11 years, I've done about 10 to 11 styles of martial arts. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Nit Jiu-Jitsu, um, Kanamata, which is an, Israeling, an Israel martial arts fighting style taught to the American military. Um, I've learned Judo, which is Olympic style martial arts, or you can consider that Japanese wrestling. Let's see what else I've learned. Learned some boxing, some kickboxing, some karate. I um, learned some Muay Thai and other forms of martial arts. And I've been in some street fights in junior high and high school. No street fights in college. But this is for men that are from the ages of 18 to 29. And if I extend the age limit to the ages of 18 to 35, because you now got some stories out there of guys in their 20s and 30s that don't know how to fight because a lot of guys are being what they called social conditioning, meaning a lot of program and television and film nowadays. And a lot of these guys, when they take these hot, attractive women out that are eights, nines, and tens out to lunch and dinner, they've never been in a fight in their entire life. They've never been punched in the face or had a cut on their face. And in, in martial arts, I was taught... That when you get in the street, um, a street fight don't have your don't have your name on it. Just like when they say a bullet don't have your name on it, you're gonna get guys that are bigger than you, stronger than you, faster than you, and they're gonna hit fast and harder than you. And I fought some big strong guys in the martial arts, particularly judo. I fought this one eighth degree black belt. Um, white guy was named Shane, and I think he's either a police officer or I can't remember the story quite, but he's an eighth degree black belt in, in judo and four other styles of martial arts. And uh, he was like six, between six feet to six foot four, 250 pounds of muscle. And the first time I took him on in judo, I got my ass whooped. But when I fought him in a rematch, I shifted from judo to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And my martial arts instructors weren't too happy with me shifting from judo to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You know, I still lost, but it was unnoticeable in the second fight than it was in the first fight. So I'm going to show you guys some boxing and some MMA. Because a lot of these pickup artists and dating coaches, they cannot show you your fight game. They always talk about have game with women, but when you're dealing with the wrong type of woman, you got to learn how to fight too. And I already made this video on my old YouTube channel, but I'm going to make it again. And it seems like every time I do a fight video for you guys, it's always, the weather's always cloudy. It looks like it's getting ready to rain. So I'm going to try to make this video between 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most. 
hopefully it don't take up all the time. So the purpose of me explaining is to try to make sure you understand the purpose of the video. You know, so whether you date black women, white women, Mexican women, or Asian women, women in general, they don't think you're a punk. Because what you have to understand is women are going to test you. Men are going to test you. So you don't have to be from the hood. You don't have to be no crip or no blood or no essay to show a woman you ain't no punk. All you got to do is do boxing or martial arts and practice two to four times a week doing boxing or MMA. And you'll show men and women you ain't no punk. You look at some of the greatest martial artists of all times. Bruce Lee, one of the greatest martial artists of his era. Bruce Lee got into a lot of fights when he was in high school. And even when he became famous in Hollywood and doing movies and film, people still wanted to challenge Bruce Lee. Um, so I'll put in the description, be Bruce Lee or be Goku from Dragon Ball Z. But the point is... This is how you bring out your killer instinct. And the only time I recommend that you tap into your animal nature and show the animal like Wolverine or the Incredible Hulk is when you're in a fist fight. So if somebody pulls a knife or a gun on you, that's the time you turn into an animal. If someone's trying to rob you or someone's trying to punk or bully you, that's when you turn into the animal. So what I will say is... You should be a warrior when it comes to martial arts. You don't have to be from the hood. But I'm making the video because you got some nice guys who don't know how to handle themselves in a fist fight. And when a woman plays mind games or do a shit test, one of the things that come up in a mind game or in a shit test while dating is, do you know how to fight? Now, most women won't ask you right out, do you know how to fight? She'll just throw a, a random test at you, and that could be any day of the week. That could be seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, um, that she can shit test you. Now, let me show you what I mean by boxing and MMA. This is my old helmet. Put it on. See? That's my old helmet. This is what I used to wear in kickboxing. Because I used to fight guys that were between six feet to six foot four. Um, the biggest guy that I got into a fight with was almost 300 pounds. And he, most people get knocked out on, unconscious on the floor. I got knocked out standing up. And I believe in boxing, they call that a, a technical knockout. Like, you can be standing up and get knocked out unconscious. It's not always you get knocked out on the floor unconscious. You can get knocked out standing up. They call those technical knockouts. This right here is my, fox, my boxing glove. These are the boxing wraps, so let's get started, shall we?
Can't you hear me? So that's how you do boxing, that's how you do MMA.